<laughs> they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Keep walking, you dirty dog. Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's the Nice Dog Podcast here again. Uh, we're here on uh, March 28th. This is going to come out on the 30th. I don't even know what day it is. We're quarantined, <laughs> dog. It's day it's, seven of lockdown. This is crazy, bitch. Day seven of lockdown. We got a very special guest, uh, Chef Katie Fernball, sitting to the left of me. Uh, you know, she's my cousin, she's family. <laughs> Uh, and we like to treat our family well around here. So, uh, and she's one of the top rising chefs of Louisiana in 2020, right? Oh that yeah, is correct. 100. Oh. That's what you get here. Cooking at the Masters in Augusta and nice uh, the Cannes Film Festival in France. Uh, she's killing it out there uh, yeah. at Solera, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went and ate brunch there the other day, and I will say. Absolutely delicious food over there at Solera. So uh, definitely nice. go over there. Had some nice champagne. Uh, it was a good time. So wow, yeah, they should sponsor our podcast. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll reach out. It's a nice sure. dog <laughs> podcast up in awesome. your ass. Well, awesome having you, Katie. Uh, we're very excited, and especially on these troubled times, oh, it's yeah. very nice of you to come. I mean, these might be the last days of all of us. So at least you know, let's have fun on a podcast talking about shit. You know, exactly. We need to start stop this morbid attitude that's everyone's having and try to spread some positivity throughout this coronavirus yeah. and uh, try to get everybody's spirits up because everyone knows you get sick more if you're sad. Yeah, that is true. If your anxiety is pumping through your veins, also sickness comes. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fa- medical science right there, folks. Medical science. Um I don't know, y'all. That that guy that from Life Tabernacle. Speaking of people that were getting life into sick victims, but I don't know if y'all heard. It made like national news that oh, this this that we talked about it right, last podcast. The, the Louisiana pastor CNN covered yeah, it three Dad days Spell. ago. Dave Tony Smel- T- Spell. Tony what, Spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, didn't you tell me that he got arrested? Yeah, he got arrested like yesterday. See, this is what I was telling you about, Robbie. I looked on the webs. I could not find that, but I they believe that he got arrested. Like, actually, on the I could probably pull it up. But yes, he finally got arrested after having like multiple services with 1,800 people and just yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm healing people is what I'm doing. Oh so, so I mean, yeah. we got this video. Might want to check yeah, that out. play that video. Oh, your mouse is handy right there. But yeah, it's some CNN video where... Uh, Oh, we don't got any audio on it. Whatever. But so in this video, they're showing uh like all these people wearing. Some of them are wearing masks. We don't really need audio anyway. But it's just shitty music. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> but basically, anyways. yeah. For for the audio listeners, they're explaining about this pastor that was previously warned of church gatherings, and then this lady is what we we had on the last podcast about saying. Uh, she was like, I don't care about no coronavirus. I, I love the Lord too I much. I need my church. Um, and hey, maybe, I don't know, God might be able to heal them. I have no evidence to prove that that's not true. But in these trying times, we just, we we can't be gathering together like that, or at least putting it, you know, that's yeah. going to, what do they expect is going to happen? I don't know, man. It's crazy that this is happening in our backyard, too. Mm-hmm. And like, we're one of the only, uh, cases in the nation where the pastor can't put his shit down. Like, take a break, man. Take a rest. You know, so I guess that the only thing worse than that is got to be the beaches, right? Yeah, that's what's going on in this video too. It's talking about the people going to spring break. I'm sure y'all saw those well, videos of the those po- jackasses. Yeah, the, yeah, and they interview them. I feel so bad for these kids because <laughs> I totally know that. And whenever I was 18, if I if this was going on, yeah. and I was there, I would have and I was drunk, I would have said something eerily similar to what that guy said. Uh, like, uh, man, I've been planning uh, this for months. Uh, fucking! I don't care if I get the corona. This is happening. Yeah, I'm. I'm. We're partying. Like, and so it just so happens that that one video became so famous, and you hear everybody talking about it and shitting on that kid. And yeah, yeah. I feel bad for him. Yeah. And he's come out and publicly apologized and stuff. Oh, what? So, uh, yeah. My, 
my friends and I have actually decided to do a coronavirus draft. Uh, so we're like drafting celebrities of like who we think are going to get coronavirus to oh, like that's awesome. keep us entertained for the next couple of months. <laughs> and uh, someone drafted that guy who oh, said, like, if I get coronavirus, who cares? And I was like, you know what? That's a good pick. That's a really good pick. You get points if they test positive yeah. and for other things. So that's awesome. I mean, yeah. that's an awesome idea. Who do you have drafted? Uh, let me pull up my team. Uh, she was <laughs> telling me yesterday what, what you have. Like, Oprah? What are the team base? Like how many players to a team? Uh, twenty players. So okay. it can be like any like celebrities. It's supposed to be celebrities or sports. Yeah. What if you this know, was an actual game news. where it's just like there was an actual betting society of like, all right, we bet these celebrities are going to get a sickness first. Oh, it for die. sure is. Yeah, uh, people will bet on anything. That's me and my friends like. They're missing out on sports and everything, just oh fiending God. for betting. So I've seen some of my friends are taking to uh, betting on marble racing. It's really taken off <laughs> since sports haven't uh, uh, been, you know, uh, they've been canceled. And this marble racing, I whenever you just first hear about the marble racing, you're thinking, okay, this is just seems kind of lame. And then you find you look at the courses for these marble races. And these are some pretty. Yeah, dude, I've seen them. They're pretty awesome they're courses. Awesome. It really kind of gains your like attention. Standard marbles. I'm or pretty do sure they're all have standard like marbles, but one of them's going to win the race. I've seen them in the sand. Like they make a sand course with because them it's about the hit. positioning of the marbles. Uh, determines like one is going to slip past the other, and you'll see some of these marbles are real champions. All right. I don't oh, yeah, know. There we go. Some pictures so of some marbles. So on my See, yeah, yeah. Corona draft about. team, I have Hillary Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Dwayne Wade, Gabrielle Union, <laughs> Larry King, <laughs> Alex <laughs> Trebek, uh, Justin Trudeau, and Will Ferrell so far. Huh. It's like That's a three-day draft. Team. Yeah, I'm pretty Justin yeah. Trudeau. All spectrums there. Sophie Trudeau currently has it. Oh, so okay. you get proximity <laughs> points as well. So I'm going for the points. <laughs> That's it for real. And it's get like proximity points. Yeah, it's like <laughs> points if you uh, if they say on Twitter that they're going into quarantine or something yeah. like that. That's hilarious. Know. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. No, speaking of people, this commentator uh, was making commentating on everyday life since he has no sports to commentate on. He's just going around to parks and like supermarket and be like, oh, this lady's got two bags and she's checking out. Oh, look at her swift moves and past the door she goes. Uh, it's on page. Okay. Yeah, but some of these videos are hilarious. You know, I would want somebody to like commentate me like that. unloading all my groceries out of the car and like carrying like 12 bags and that's, be like, will she make it? That's <laughs> very true. You might have uh, some people that, if he's out of work, they might have some people that are rich enough to where he can pay them to just comment on their life. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, watch the the second video. is really fucking funny. Uh, yeah, so he's just going around making these Twitter videos because I guess he has so much fucking <laughs> spare time in the park. Oh my god, the internet here is fucking quarantine level. I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday, I was trying to download a game from Xbox Live, and normally I'm getting a, about 300 megabits per second whenever I'm plugged in with my Ethernet cable. That's some blazing speed right there. Yeah. But I was getting, I was getting 10, 20 megabits a second, Dude. and and b so I'm thinking that it's a problem on my end. So I start troubleshooting my modem, but then I do a test, and the download speeds that I'm getting are like 300 plus. But the Xbox Live server is so backed up from people yeah. downloading shit, and everyone is in quarantine playing their games that it's really been fucked. I don't know yeah. for you, my phone, I can't connect to anything. My Wi-Fi always seems to be shitty, so I haven't even noticed, but. I, I could imagine. Yeah, I, I know people who have been like in group messages with us and they're not getting any messages the whole time. And oh then my God. at like midnight, they'll get like 50 messages. Like one of our friends responded to a message at 6 a.m. and was like, will y'all shut up? And we're like, we haven't texted in six hours. But uh, yeah, so Christ. who knows what's going on with that? Uh, everything's overloaded, man. Yeah, and people, and are, people aren't working at Cox as much because they probably can't have everyone in the office. I so feel like that they got to be working harder than ever. I think those are essential Probably employees. essential, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah you're right. The internet you is right. definitely essential. That's definitely essential. That was probably on num everyone's number one hit. But our internet is not on essential list. <laughs> so if Cox, you're listening right now, Fuck yourself, man. This is fucked. Because I had a fucking great video lined up, 
And then this shit happens. Jamie, do something. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, anyway, it's it, all right. Can we reach any sites? Do we have access to the internet at all right now? I might actually unplug my modem right now. Honestly, I think everything's trash. Yeah. Yeah. I called Cox the other day, and I was like, hey, uh, it was a voice automated thing. It's like, if you're calling about your internet, you could just use a modem restart. So press one, and I pressed uh, restart, yeah. and they just did it for me, and it did work, so... I'm not going to call him right now, obviously. But, hey, but look, what, tell us what we got next. Go restart the modem, and me and Katie will carry this shit to yeah, the dude. fucking to the roof. And we'll get these technical issues worked out one at a time. We're fucking... Uh, okay, well, did you know, like, this is a picture of the Pope not giving a mass, like, by himself for the first time ever. Wait, like, he gave a mass by himself? For or the something? first time, oh. like, ever. But he just still did it anyways. Yeah. It was it recorded? I don't know. Someone took a picture. Katie, but. I mean, y'all you, you, are Catholic. Y'all can talk more on the Pope than me. Um, so, what do you what do you think about this Pope guy? I mean, I'm actually not Catholic, but I did spend nine years in Catholic. Okay, school. yeah, you're not so. Catholic, but you spent a long time in Catholic school. I never went to a Catholic school. Robbie, what the fuck are you doing? What I'm you're just you're gonna, I'm talking to our guest over here. <laughs> And then you're just going to take seconds. away her microphone, and it's this fine. is just ridiculous. I could just, like, shout. This is all fucking crashing <laughs> down one seat at a time. Anyway, Catholics. So what do you, th what do you think about the Pope? Yeah, you're Lutheran, like yes. me. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we actually got confirmed together. together. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Such an idiot. <laughs> Um, but I did spend nine years in Catholic school. That's where the association came from. But uh, I think my bitch. association with Catholic schools and the churches probably ended in the eighth grade. Okay. So. All right. Well, anyways, Robbie. I might have to move her mic again to plug it back in. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm holding this down by myself. I'll say what I think of the Pope. Um, I feel like he's too uh, famous. Why is he got to be that famous? It's it's one religion. There's so many religions, but everybody knows who the Pope is. Who do we know? Who like? Okay, I guess I got the leader of the Muslim religion, Farrakhan. I know who that is. What? Who's the leader well, of the Jews? The, I don't know. The Pope obviously has like the Illuminati hookup. You think obviously. that the Pope's got the Illuminati hookup? Yes, Robbie, of course. as a Catholic, you think that the Pope has the Illuminati hookup? Uh, He's, look at that! Look at those by buildings. The Illuminati. Yes, that looks yeah, like yeah. There's some, some twisted shit going on, and I like how it's like speaking to the Catholics. Is something going on in the Pope? Yeah, something's going on. Like, something's definitely going on, right? Yeah. Okay. Something's definitely going on when you got all those people saying the touchy touchy feely feely. Touchy touchy feely feely. A lot of people are saying not, that. I've not happening that. right now, though. No touchy touchy feely feely <laughs> with the yeah, corona. Six feet you know? Away. Yeah. Do you know what I'm um, saying? Jesus Christ! All right. Well. That's what I'm just saying. Pope, bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> bad <laughs> you know dog. what I'm saying? Uh, Shit. Um, man, I really, we're going to see that commentator or whatever, but uh, did y'all hear about the Brazilian gangsters or improvising the curfew? Because the government won't. But the, the, the big dictator, he's supposed to be like the Trump relevant guy equivalent in Brazil or whatever. But uh, the 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 mobsters have taken to the gangsters are imposing their curfew because President Bolsonaro won't. But I thought that was funny. The gangsters are like, if we see you past 8 p.m. out on the streets, we're going to fucking make you remember it. No I way. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gangsters are I fucking imposing it. I kind of support it, though. You yeah. know, it's like gangsters for good. Gangsters for good. Yeah. I like no. that. Good dog. I don't think no. that. I think that that's bad. You can't just okay. have some random guy telling you, hey, get back in your house, you honky. <laughs> well, what about what about Coach O? Like, people don't listen to our governor, but you put Coach O on the screen saying "Stay in your house," and everyone's like, "All right." Go talk. Yeah, Go talk. I mean that's true, that's but true. I feel like that people still aren't listening to it that much. I mean, we had to do we had to drive here, which if y'all don't know, under the essential businesses, uh, media is under that, so we fall under this. This is essential. This podcast right here which is the reason that we still have to do it. It's essential. Um, but on my way over here to do my essential business, I'm driving around. I'm seeing a lot of people 
They don't look like they're on doing any essential things. They no. they, they seem pretty casual. Yeah, I mean the the lakes are like everyone's Rocky Balboa out there. I oh, mean, like literally, oh, yeah. it's the most populated place in Baton Rouge right now. Yeah, that's the first time I've dr- driven past like the Baton Rouge beach recently and yeah. packed full of cars. I, yeah. I was listening to uh, Joey Diaz and Joe Rogan do their podcast, and I thought that he made a good point. Not Joe Rogan, uh, Diaz about. People are running and they they're six feet apart. Yeah, but then they're blowing air out of their mouth and then that's sitting right there. You're walk like you know going six feet in a couple strides and then just sucking yeah, that yeah, all yeah. in. So like sucking walking into air. a cloud of perfume. But right, it's just yeah, exactly. It's but coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was at the lakes this morning. It's like as as I was going by people, it's like I, I was thinking that exact same thing you just said. I heard that too, and I was just like weaving in and out of people and i could tell some looks were just like what the fuck because i would literally like go as soon as i would get to someone like six feet i'd be like oh six feet don't want to breathe their air right like (laughs) suck in a big breath <laughs> so this the international oh, here's this four by four push chair formation final, and uh, well, we've got <laughs> so this guy's commentating on like some women pushing their babies here. in the park. Uh, Smith and Black, and they're doing particularly well of staying quite close with them around this very delicate bend. Of course, they're pretty <laughs> <familiar> <laughs> very delicate bend. Well, that's what saw them become <laughs> champions okay, just a few months ago. Great to see them back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do the next one too. Fuck yes for the internet. So this internet, <laughs> internet, internet makes quarantine okay. <laughs> Crossroad dash, like turns to red. We wait for the beeps. There they are now. Then JD Sportsman, he's got a decent start. Leggings <laughs> <laughs> a bit distracted over the shoulder, and Leggings is gonna get there. Oh, she does it again. Three titles in three so days. So basically, he just commented three titles in three days. Three. Victorious. Oh my god, I fucking love this guy so much. I hope he keeps doing this. I know it's so that, genius. I wasn't imagining a UK commentator. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, they live for that shit. Oh. Oh, the soccer ball! <laughs> <laughs> Go! Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. more about the Pope being frisky. No, I'm just kidding. Let's oh. move on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, is that what this whole episode is about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Katie, I, was, I was really banking on you being Catholic for this one. I'm not going to lie. Pretty Dude, much all sorry. Catholic themed from uh, here on out. out, out, out. So, uh, <laughs> no, we always we got some good stuff. Uh, Cardi B, I know you, you know, do you like Cardi B? Uh, I find her as like a huge source of entertainment. Okay, yeah, she's yeah, very yeah. entertaining. That's yeah. what she's. That's she is. She's an entertainer. Nice. Yeah. She's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yes. Because I really don't like her, but I mean, she's yes, pretty entertaining. She's very Anyways, entertaining. She did this hour long rant about the coronavirus. And that was it, an hour? It's an hour long. I this have is, only seen the, cl- the short clips of just her screaming uh, coronavirus. Like, coronavirus! But, Anyways, yeah. so they put this challenge out. Like somebody remixed the song. Anyways, they put this challenge out. And this is this one guy's remix of the Cardi B coronavirus into an edm banger and i know everybody's <laughs> missing buku right now so i thought we'd throw this in uh to show out to our edm hey, fans out there so this is like the process of him making the song he takes that clip he's like all right i'm about to run with this and then here we uh, go let's do it <laughs> I'm a little scared, I'm a little scared, I'm saying like, and I feel my fucking stickers and yo, kiki, 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 I think Cardi would approve. Yeah, no, actually. I think that she yeah. did. One of the guys that remixed it. I don't know. That, all right, that's enough of Cardi B for me <laughs> <Yeah>. today. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that I think her outfit is probably not going to help her stay clean. During no, it's this probably time, not. You know? It's like the opposite of a hazmat suit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that. So that I don't think that was the first guy to remix the Cardi B video into a coronavirus song. But then, I don't know, there's somebody else that, I don't know, they did it. She reposted it on her Instagram or something like that. It's a whole thing. I'm rethinking, like, her purpose is to be, like, sampled. 
Like everything she says is just like basically sample words. It's like, like all a these sound noises bite. Yeah. she oh, makes, yeah. and that's why she makes Most such of entertaining her vocabulary stuff. Yeah. is noises. So it's, yeah, very nice. Human sample. Good job, Cardi Human B. Sample. We hanging in over there, Shane. Oh, the internet's still down. It's still down. It was just working. Shiver me timbers. Dude, what the? What the fuck? Wait, is that over here? Fuck you, kid, you're a dick. That oh, okay, that was close. <laughs> um, fuck you, kid, you're oh. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still learning the soundboard over here. Yeah, I know these two I, I are progressively me, right? push it to, uh, these two are you, so okay. anything there is ooh, just. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ah. I've never felt so alive. <laughs> 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 it's true. I we're I'm one step closer to death, but I've never felt so alive. <laughs> um, okay, supermarket throws out thirty five thousand dollars worth of food after oh, the I customer. Yes, yeah. after someone call a customer deliberately costs on this food, so the supermarket has to throw out thirty thirty five thousand dollars worth of food. Well, that's just rude to everybody. <laughs> you know, I don't Wait, think there's I got this. anything. Fuck you, kid! You're a dick. Nice. Oh, yeah, boom! Yes, 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 you did it, y'all. You know, just twenty episodes in. <laughs> <laughs> there, God. there might not be anything more depressing as a chef than to see uh, that much food just go in the trash. Oh, you know, uh, yeah. like it. So. Like Austin said, I work for the Masters, and the Masters only serves food during the tournament. So they have these massive kitchens and everything. They're stocked up for thousands of people to come in. And on the last day, we throw everything away. We Last year alone, we threw out $80,000 worth of oysters. No! No. Yes. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Boo! I love oysters. if you want to see a bunch of sh- crying chefs walking around, just like peep in on the last day they of the Masters. They can't do anything with that. You know? Well, no, because the way the laws are set up, and I mean, this applies now too, you can't donate food without being liable legally for how people hold it and like if people get sick. So that can come back on to you. You're responsible, yeah. So like if you donate food and someone whoever decides to say like oh i got sick from the food that you gave me even though they might have like left it outside for a couple yeah, of days but I feel like uh, maybe you could like sell it liable. off to like some restaurants or something like you know I hey mean, we'll give I you these discounted some oysters loopholes, but like the only safe option it's for to businesses to protect themselves it's to throw it away which is super sad i hate that damn so that's the government you know yep. once again throw making us throw away all the food i mean that not just that instance, but I mean, a hotel, all mm-hmm. the food that they throw away there, yeah. any of these events or whatever. Or like imagine the end of a cruise. I don't know. 20 years from now, I'm thinking of an idea, though. Just like I think someone could bank on the idea of just turning this food into something. Maybe. I mean, people are making it into energy and stuff. Maybe, but turning like, food into energy. Yeah. They are turning like they, there's there's. I feel like you need a human for that or like an animal. Composting yeah, stuff. But it's even like it's like it's advanced thing. composting. It's like taking composting and actually making power from it. Like those old scientific experiments you saw about the potato and the battery. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like that. So I don't know. I just went on that fucking freak. I guess it's because we don't have internet, you know. <laughs> but anyway, is it is it on? Is it no? But oh, it's oh okay, fun. awesome. Oh, but right. this is a roller coaster ride. Holy it's, shit! I know. I didn't think it'd be so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He's this the owner of that supermarket said, although we have not yet quantified the total loss, we estimate it's thirty five thousand, whatever. She said, I'm absolutely sick to my stomach about the loss of food. I, I mean, I can't imagine. I know the feeling. Eighty thousand dollars worth of just oysters. oysters, not counting everything else. That that was just the oysters. Poor oysters, man. Yeah. All right. We let's bring this back up. Enough yeah. uh being sad for the oysters, you yeah. know. That's a tough loss, but we gotta cheer this back up. For our listeners, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff going on. Uh, uh, Pornhub is free for the whole next month. Oh my god! All yeah. right, look, I know <laughs> I wasn't nice. quite sure what the good thing was going to be. This is great. Um, yeah, Pornhub Premium is free for the whole world for the next month. I yeah. think that this is a great advertising. Uh, well, I think a great way to advertise. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, it's seen as such a, a stereotype in the adult industry. But the the statement he said, it's like when a global human crisis happens, it's up to everyone to work together. This is the co-owner of, 
uh, Pornhub said, and support the community. And they're just doing this because they want the models to get money, A, because they're raising the price per video that they get money, and they're just saying, we want you to stay at home and whack it, basically. Yeah, there's no better place yeah. to watch Pornhub than at your own home. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, there, there's no better place. No, no better place. Some That's might argue with wrong. you. No one in this room is going to, though. Uh, I mean, and look, I think this is a good business plan for them because uh, as a previous Pornhub premium subscriber, <laughs> not anymore, but as a previous, like, you know, you might yeah. think to yourself, yeah. hey, this is uh, probably not going to be worth it. There's lots of free porn out there. Yeah. But whenever you get Pornhub premium, you really feel like a star whenever you pull up your <laughs> phone. They really make you feel good about yourself. Uh, and I think that the features are worth it, you know, but uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like maybe some That's people will think that. Opinion. Yeah, some people will look at that and be like, wow, why did I never do this before? Ooh, ooh. Well, good for them. That's some positive note. At least, you know, the people are doing that. What? How far are we in? Should we go to Good Dog, Bad Dog, the famous segment? Oh, y'all, y'all want to do that? Uh, we have a thing where it's like, in 60 seconds, we'll give you questions that... Uh, well, you listened to the podcast before. I, yes. Awesome. Do, so yeah. in 60 seconds, we'll ask you questions to get to know you, and your job is to answer them as sincerely as possible. Do we have more questions? Is it possible to no. beat the record? Okay. Actually, I'll add a couple. I'll add a couple in the, in the end right now. Just Okay. Because our previous record is what? 19. 19? And yes. so if you beat it, you're going to have to get 20. But last time the person ran out of questions, so okay. Robbie's only fucking 20, job <laughs> was to add one more question to it, just one more, so you could beat the record. But Robbie doesn't want to see a woman win. Oh, uh, yeah, true at all. <laughs> that's yeah. it. That's, that's what it is, up, dude. You don't want a woman to be the world record dude, holder. I ran out of interesting questions to get to know you, but I'm <laughs> thinking of one. <laughs> I think that you can do this. All right, uh, I just got it. All right, so okay. basically. Be- deal with me how near here, but that's the Nice Dog Podcast. You got 20 questions. If you okay. get to 20, you will be the leader. All it's right. The nice Dog Podcast. All right. All right. In your ass. So. You got to be quick and you can't lie. Or you die. Or right? you die. Oh, you, yeah. I kill you. Makes not, sense. I, I would like to get married before I die, yeah. you know, so. Well, so you bet just don't lie and we're all good. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Favorite color. Purple. Favorite food. Sushi. Favorite animal. Dog. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Place you'd like to visit? Uh, Belize. Dream car? Porsche. Pet peeve? Uh, shit. Uh, my fiance does this weird thing where he like blows into his jewel to like clean it out. That's yeah. my definite pet peeve. Biggest fear? That's gonna slow her down. Snakes. Yep. <laughs> Living celebrity you'd like to meet? Uh, fuck, Oprah. If you could be in any music group, who would you choose? Uh, Greta Van Fleet. Favorite hobby? Uh, cooking. <laughs> Favorite movie? Um, shit. <laughs> uh, Silver Linings Playbook. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? Uh, how tall I am. Superpower, what would you have? Invisibility. Karaoke song. Don't have one. What would you want to be when you were small? Um, a doctor? Would you rather ride a bike, horse, or drive a car? Horse. What three items that you would take on a deserted island? A knife, uh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. How many questions was that? That was 18. Oh. Uh, I feel like I definitely messed myself up with the explanation. Yeah, yeah. you thing. were on a good roll. I know, I would have gotten it, but no one was going to understand. <laughs> it was like, yeah. All right, didn't hey, beat Katie. it. Hey, you win, Robbie. You'll be back on Am I when you cook live. Well, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Wait, did you lie? No. Oh, oh, yeah, oh well, I only die if yeah, I lie. Yeah, you yeah. only die if you lie. Okay. Yeah. yeah totally you don't die if you answer. don't beat the record. That's just okay. the record. <laughs> 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 I just don't want people coming in here saying some bullshit and then, you know, yeah. try to win. Fuck that. You got to actually answer the question. Okay. I may have lied. When you, <laughs> on, when you come back on to cook something, we'll do it again. And okay. you'll beat it. Do we want to see like what people want me to cook? Yeah, we could do that. That would be good. Definitely. Yeah, nice dog podcast at gmail.com or we have a hotline you could send us hate mail. I might post something 2, 2, on my 5, Instagram. 3475914. Man, that would be fun as fuck. That would be really oh, yeah. fun. 
Uh, Let me do like a chopped thing, you know, like uh-huh. top three secret ingredients, you know. Yeah. That's oh. how I got to go to France. I won a chopped competition, and the school paid for me to go to France for See, three we weeks. We have a living so. celebrity here on the Nice I Dog mean, Podcast. You know. Dog like, podcast. People <laughs> are going to be <laughs> looking at this in, I don't know. See, you people know? talk about the family celebrities, and they're like, Austin, of course. But family like, celebrities? It's... I'm not a family celebrity. <laughs> not yet. I mean, obviously, I have millions of viewers on my podcast. I mean, obviously. It's blowing up across yeah. the world, but I We're just see myself as a normal what guy you like don't everyone know. else. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh no yeah we're all we're all killing it me and Katie we're power duo podcast chef we're gonna combine the two and uh, make some sort of oh, video God. definitely great things yeah. great things to come speaking of great things do we want to go to good dog bad dog <laughs> yeah sure let's do it this is uh literally the world's favorite segment my favorite segment you email us in nice dog podcast at the best segment or you can leave us a voicemail at the fucking number I said two two five three four seven five nine one four motherfucker I'm interested to see what we have today today uh, we have the listeners never surprise us. We've got some videos I mean, to go they, along. They always surprise us. Yeah, they always surprise <laughs> us. Literally showing up at our doorstep. Never door surprised. Step. <laughs> always expecting it. Always, always expecting it. <laughs> oh, another video? Yeah, I've seen it before, you bitch. <laughs> but, uh, so online classes. And we have a video to go along. But this guy was taking the online class and obviously, uh, doesn't, you know, his mom was making too much noise in the background. Let's watch this. <laughs> If it's positive and negative, does it always, um, like, react in a non-spontaneous characteristic? What's I going on? No, it would be spontaneous. So it's it's mom's the fuck up, Mom! I'm in a class! Oh, my <laughs> God! Shut up, Mom! Shut okay. up, okay? So he's yelling at his mom because his mom was obviously talking during the professor's explanation. He was just, like, asking a question. Jesus Christ! <laughs> It was a little aggressive. Shut up, mom! A little yeah, aggressive. I'm pretty sure he told her to shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure he dropped an F bomb in there. And look, I mean, that's a risky move. Uh, <laughs> Actually, no, do my wife, just because you're interrupting Professor Philip. Sorry, sir. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it always spontaneous? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Does that chemical actually is yeah, spontaneous? It's, it's, <laughs> the entropy is negative. And the, prof- <laughs> and He's the, like, entropy right, anyway. is the professor's chill about it. Yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah I mean, so I, like, I talk about it. Buy the dryer sheets. Buy them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, spontaneous. So yeah. Yeah, but, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, good dog bad dog or, bad or the dog? good dog? Uh, for online classes, obviously, I think it would be a bad, bad dog, dog for him. He's not. He's not bad dog, man. Uh, I'm not looking. No, this online class stuff is not it, man. Yeah, it's not it. I'm not taking any online classes, but it looks like a pain in the ass. What do you think, Katie? Bad dog good or, dog the or good bad dog? dog? Uh, you know, I think the way he talked to his mom, bad dog. Professor, though, <laughs> great <laughs> dog. Yeah, he handled it perfectly. He did not give two shits. No, but that other guy was a dirty Keep dog. Keep walking, you dirty I dog. I feel like that this was a bit, but I'm not sure. I there's a lot of people on that video Yeah, thing there's a lot of things to, going on there. You know? I know, but I feel like that maybe he's like, yo, texted his friends like, yo, like, watch what I'm about to do. Like, do you film think he just, shit. like, has a friend that's, like, an older Indian man or whatever? No, 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 no. Like, can I, you be my professor? That was, the <laughs> someone was filming the screen of a laptop. So they were they were also in the call. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like maybe yeah. he texts his friend was like, "Yo, peep this," and then it's, it's possible. And then like I don't know, I don't know. They do anything for clout, right? Okay, anything so for clout. So basically, bad dog on that kid. So yeah, yeah. bad dog, bad dog. All right. Well, up next we got <coughs> a video to go along. We got parking tickets. This parking guy is tickets. giving out parking tickets during the quarantine. <laughs> And uh, I, I don't know, like, he's just being a dick, but this guy follows him. He's got some pretty funny commentary. Tickets. To, to say what this guy. The world's falling apart. The world's falling apart. This guy's still this giving out pig. parking he's tickets still in the city out. of Sydney, Australia. Look at this. The world is falling apart, and he's still Well, hey, tickets. at least he's still well, got his job. Me. Sydney City Council. Absolute so parking dickhead. tickets are essential? Go home, you fucking I the guess parking tickets apart. are essential. People have got no money, and you're still giving out tickets? You I mean, fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fucking co- Sydney City Council, Ranger, have a look. Have a look. People are starving in the streets. 
And these fucking rednecks still fucking give me our tickets. Bad dog. You asshole. Get on your fucking bike and go home. <laughs> you are an utter pig. <laughs> you are a pig, mate. Your face is going to get splattered all over the... Sydney City Council has no sympathy. Zero sympathy for anybody. So People are going to be starving okay, in the streets. Yeah, People are I dying mean... all over the... So what are we saying? Parking tickets in general? Um, I guess parking tickets during quarantine. I'd say you know, like parking tickets in this time. Parking tickets in this time of tragedy. I tragedy. Mean, look, <laughs> I tend to try dog. to make things you know look at a positive light on things. I can't possibly see how getting a parking ticket during the quarantine is good. Really? Because you made homicide good. Um. Okay. Well, look. Okay. <laughs> You can't have people just parking wherever you want. If I go and take your car and I just go park it in the middle of morning glory, uh, I I deserve to get a ticket. Yeah. Well, good dog for him getting paid, huh? Right. For uh -huh. he's, yeah, he's, he's getting working. his job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe he shouldn't be giving out as many tickets. That street looked pretty empty. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that's why the guy was so worked up because there's no one parking there, and yeah. this one car seemed to piss him off. Yeah, and then Bad he called dog. that guy a redneck, which is funny because I didn't know that they had rednecks <laughs> oh, like Australia. other places. Other countries had rednecks. Is it just because he's wearing a cowboy hat? Like, is that part of the uniform? Or? His neck looks a little red. <laughs> that would be pretty cool if it was part of the uniform. I though. think so, yeah. I don't think, okay. no. I, don't know. I think it might be cooler if he just decided that, like, he was going to snazz up his uniform. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, of a, I had a yeah, cowboy hat. parking maid as, yeah. Keep yeah. walking, you dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bad dog too, huh? Bad yeah, dog. bad yeah. dog. All right. Well, up next, I don't know how you'll make it through this one either, but um, so bestiality, I guess that this man had sex with a dolphin. What uh, for a Dolph year? Oh. Oh, geez. Okay, I uh, thought you meant once. Long-term relationship. It, whenever yeah. you said that a guy had sex <laughs> with a dolphin, I was like, this doesn't seem like enough of an event for us to be talking about. Then you said for a year, and then I was like, okay, I get why we're talking about this. Uh, so he's he's been a self-confessed zoophile, <laughs> and, and the dolphin's name is Dolly, and he writ he's wrote a novel, uh, Wet Goddess. I think I said that <laughs> wrong. Written a novel, Wet Goddess. Jesus Dude, Christ! What the fuck? He had a sexual relationship with a dolphin, dolphin Ruby, while working at a theme park. Uh, I wrote the, this book for. <laughs> Why? Well, <I'm, laughs> this is fucked up. I didn't read all this article. <laughs> Dude, I what wrote the this book for dolphins. What kind of submission is this? He's, I wrote this book for dolphins because we are mistreating these animals by keeping them in captivity. But dog, but you're talking what? about doing you're other not stuff to What? <laughs> I guarantee you, a dolphin's not gonna fuck you in the wild. Like if you go, if you go and like you just go swim out into the fucking Gulf and you pull your boner out, no dolphin is gonna hop on that. I don't know. They seem kind of frisky sometimes. Yeah, they might try to fuck you. But <laughs> only in captivity, yeah. not in, you know, I've heard of that. I think it's definitely an issue of consent here. It's definitely yeah. an issue definitely. Of, of, yeah. He was in his but early you know, 20s. What? Jesus. I don't know. If it's been going on for this long, like, maybe Oh, the wait, he said he doesn't do it consent? anymore? Uh, I, I guess he doesn't do it anymore because, I mean, what dolphin would accept that face if we go back up? But, I mean, I think yeah, I maybe whenever he was in his 20s, he was looking a lot better. The dolphin was <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah, the dolphin might have been about That's what I want to know, if the dolphin was mutual. But like right. you said, consent, yeah. 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 But, yeah, his all the way at the top of the article is his face now, and he's just, uh, he's, you know. Oh, he's, poor Dolly. That, 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 that's the face Dolly. of a dolphin. All right, well. Does, yeah, does, did you just say that's the, the face of a dolphin <laughs> fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Good dog, bad dogs this week are just fucking. They're all bad. fucked, so dude. <laughs> Usually, I'm always good dog, and I'm feeling all bad dog. It's obviously a bad, bad dog. Bad, bad, I mean, bad dog. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Like he doesn't even need an answer. I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> well, um, that that was that was the best segment in the world right now. Jeez, That's I'm it? starting That's to it? second guess it. <laughs> 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 I'll Sorry. be honest, I put that last one in at the very last second. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Where did you think this was gonna go, though? Oh, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, mean, it's our fans, fucking fans, fans submitting shit, and I mean, Robbie isn't vetting it properly. Your obviously, fans are into nice. some dirty shit. He's That's not. Nice. I mean, yeah. You fuckers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Oh, what are we at? Oh, move my mouse a little. Forty. Oh, nice. That's not bad. That's um, not bad. shit. Are we about to get into some? Did you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, we didn't have a did you know submitted this week, so I'm just looking something up right now. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Uh, we have no internet. Um. All right. Uh, does anybody have a fun fact that they want to throw in there for the did you know or we you know? Katie, you got anything? Are you going to carry us through this one? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's plenty of things. Come on. There's got to be some, like, cooking oh, no. fact that you can give us. Uh, okay. Fun fact. Uh, my favorite Did thing, you know? food-wise. Did wait, wait. Know? Wait for the drop. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey, this is what we do here. Mm. Nice on podcast, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we totally planned this. This is going as planned. Yes. Mm. Uh, mm. When Did people you know? ask what my like go to favorite food and et cetera is, it's really just cheese, which involves like no cooking on my part. So cheese. <laughs> cheese. Now I like cheese. Did I'm a big know? cheese guy. I had some interesting cheese I had recently. Dragon's breath cheese from Rouse's. Uh, and I'm a pretty spicy tolerant guy. I can tolerate some spices. This was some hot ass motherfucking cheese, man. And the pain didn't stop at the mouth. I'll leave it at that. Oh. You know? Yeah, that, that seems like a pain that might sit for a couple of days. Oh, before it, yeah, it was just marinate. And dragon's and, yeah. breath cheese. Dragon's breath. Have you ever had any of this dragon's breath cheese? I don't have you ever think heard of I've it? had. It. I have heard of it. I don't okay. think I've had it though. That it, sounds interesting as fuck. I was just stoned. I was walking through Rouse's. I fucked, <laughs> I, I look in on this barrel. It's like dragon's breath cheese, and I was like. Is this barrel challenging me? Yeah. Like, I'm totally going to have to get some cheese. Like, and yeah, I mean, it was good. I kind of get but some of that cheese. Dog. What's your favorite cheese, Katie? Uh, my all time favorite cheese is Humboldt Fog, made by Cypress Grove in California. Humboldt Fog cheese. Hum- Humboldt. So it's Humboldt. from like Humboldt County, County California, oh, okay. Humboldt Fog. Damn. Yeah, but uh, all the Cypress Could Grove you compare cheeses that? Are Can you compare that cheese to any other cheese to make me give me a, a picture? Uh, I can only compare it to one other cheese that you're also not going to be familiar all with. All right, all right. But it's, so it's a goat cheese. Okay. And it's like a ash rind cheese. So they like do vegetable ash and like cord in that. And I it's like goat, some yeah, like Yeah, I got you a goat. See, that's cheese. what I was looking for. Yeah, goat cheese. That's okay. The, the goat, base of the it. The goat, yes. The goat. Right. Yes. The goat. Yes. Okay, well. I'm actually repping one of my uh, favorite cheese companies, St. James Cheese Company, on the back. Oh! Yes. So, uh, shout out to them. Shout out to St. James Cheese <laughs> Company. Give me some free cheese, St. James. We yeah. need to get them sponsored. I would love a cheese yes. sponsor. We love cheese. Yeah, Robbie Absolutely. D. Oh, sorry. We're going to get bitches. <laughs> no, but yeah, we would love cheese now. That's the Did You Know? We are cheese mm. enthusiasts. Mm. Mm. The number one yes. cheese podcast. Maybe we'll have you back and we'll be cooking St. James cheese on the podcast. Perhaps. We can make Gorgon cheese. Zoll. We, we can, can make cheese. We can make cheese. Do we need a cow? Yes. Do we get one um, in the backyard? No. I actually uh, have a barrel of hay that I don't know what to do with. No, <laughs> okay. no joke. All right. I have. And like, <laughs> we can I'm, maybe do something with it. I don't know. Maybe that'll be one of the secret chopped ingredients. It's yeah, like, like barrel of hay. I don't barrel know. Barrel of hay and some cows. <laughs> something like that. Uh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> well, it's been a good podcast. Yeah. Thank everybody for listening. Uh, definitely <laughs> email uh, us at uh, nice talk podcast uh, at gmail.com and yeah. uh, call the hotline. Uh, uh, 225-347-5914. You know? And uh, yeah, we'll nice. catch you next time. Later. Nice. I'm popping yeah, stupid, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.